good. Awesome. All right, guys, thanks a lot for joining. My name is Martin Conway. I'm leading the business overview this evening, so it's great to be here. Thank you for spending your Tuesday night with me. I take pride in starting on time and ending on time, so I'm three minutes behind, so forgive me for that. We'll be out of here by nine o'clock. Um, thanks for jumping on. Usually, I like a bit more of a back and forth, you know, question, answer, and actual conversation, but this is going to be more one-way traffic this evening, so uh, hang in there with me. Um, so I'm going to jump right in. I have two main objectives for this evening. Number one, provide you with an overview and an understanding of this business model. And number two objective is to invite you to reflect on your current behaviors and take action, which is consistent with the best version of yourself. So a question I'd like you to keep in mind as we go through the next 15 or 20 minutes is what vehicles are you currently using to build an asset? And is it scalable? excuse me, or is it scalable? Not does it scalable, is it scalable? I'd like you guys to keep that in mind as we go through this discussion here. So first of all, from an integrity perspective, obviously everything we do is, is truth, is we lead with integrity, we don't do integrity, we are integrity. So uh, as you can see in the nice blue font there, we remain steadfast in our commitment to always do the right thing the right way. And as a, a wise person once told me, if you're willing to say it on a stage, you need to back it up in private. So what you wouldn't say in private, you don't say it on a stage. So bottom line here, integrity is everything. And to me, trust and integrity is the foundation. If you don't have that with individuals or with a company or with an organization of any description, you've really got nothing because the wasted energy and the suspicion and the cynicism, there is not a positive energy. So from an integrity perspective, we, we tell the truth. Um, and we are the truth. So from a product perspective, obviously we stand behind it, uh, stand behind all of our products. I am not gonna go into the product line this evening. If you're looking for an ashwagandha discussion, aloe, I'm not your guy. I'm gonna give you a high level business overview of this. Um, that's the angle I'm gonna come at and that's the purpose here. We have great teammates who do amazing jobs on the product, but that is not this call tonight, all right? And the last thing here from an integrity perspective is this business model works but it requires work. It requires you, me, us, all of us to work. This is not a free handout. It's not a free lunch. It only works if you do. It's just like anything else. If you're willing to put in the time and the work, you will get the outcomes here. Um, we can't guarantee anything, but we have enough quantitative and qualitative evidence to suggest that this business model works, the products work, um, and it can help people. All right. So jumping on, first of all, who am I? Uh, my name is Martin, as I said, I'm married. I have four young children, my wife, Julie, in the picture there. Um, I like to start here because often on these presentations, it can feel sometimes impersonal and people run through and they want to get to the, you know, the, the model and the, the big tell. But I think it's important that you guys know who I am. Uh, this is my why right here. These five other individuals in this screen, that's my why. So if I'm talking to you or I'm talking to them, I'm coming from the same place of love, compassion and truth and wanted to make a difference. Uh, my wife, Julie and I, we met in college. We've been married coming on, on 16 years here. Actually, next week, it's yeah, the 16th of October. So that's that was a fortunate discussion tonight. I'm gonna put that down and remind myself, 16 years next week, um, we are married, we've been married. Our eldest daughter, Claire is on the right. She's in middle school. So if anyone has any tips, maybe you could reach out and let me know how to handle a 13 year old middle school girl because that is way beyond my comprehension and my capabilities right now. So that's a discussion for another day, but I'm willing to take help and I'll listen to anyone who can, who can help. Um, my son, Ryan, our son, Ryan in the middle there, he is 10 going on 11 in a couple of weeks. And then we went for a third pregnancy and you can see we had a buy one, get one coupon. So we have twin girls there, Nora and Ella. So that's my why. I recently left corporate America after 15 years. I was a sales director for GlaxoSmithKline, an amazing company. I learned an awful lot about confidence, about training, about politics, about interacting with people, about difficult conversations. I learned so much with that organization and I'm exceptionally grateful to them and for them for the lessons I learned, but it was my time to move on. Um, I always struggled, not with the, the medicines, but what I struggled with was we had a range of opportunity a, a range of options once people got sick from is this? disease x whatever that would be we had great options once you had been diagnosed with copd or once you had been diagnosed with asthma or once you had been diagnosed with xyz my challenge was always why can't we intervene and, and interrupt the habits earlier on in a person's life 
I think it's very noble to have medicines and I'm a fan obviously of medicines, but my, the itch that always needed to be scratched for me was can, can I do something earlier on to try and redirect and interrupt these bad habits? Now, obviously you can never eliminate disease, but there are things you can do to maybe reduce the likelihood of it happening. And that was always something that nagged at me. So I walked away in June um, of this year uh, so I'm very grateful for my health to be here today, to be talking to you. I mean, we've got some first world problems, right? I'm talking to you guys through a screen. You guys are across the country. So again, I'm very grateful for my health and to be here, but I'm also aspirational and I want to contribute at a far greater level. And I don't really want to play a game with people or with business. I want to change the game. Like I want to actually empire build and as many people as I can share this message with, I want to do so and share with them the following message. If you are happy with your nine to five, that is great. But you need vehicles outside of that nine to five that are working for you when you are not working. That are working for you when you are not working. Because I think we are seeing this was true pre-COVID and it's becoming more true and more evident every single day. Corporations are laying people off, consumers' habits are changing, the world around us is changing, and you need some sort of insurance policy or some other scalable asset outside of your nine to five that works for you when you are not working. So with that, let me jump in to a bit more of the background. So this here, I'm going to spend the next two or three slides going through some of the, the problems to, to kind of illustrate the situation that we have. Um, and then I'll jump into the specific solution that, that Isogenics offers. So I'm not going to read the whole slide here. You guys are educated people, you're smart people, and you can read the main points on the slide there yourself. What I will highlight is the fact that that headline there, the need for money is evident. And this isn't need for money trying to push poor products or push sugar or push more debt on people. This isn't that. People need money because the national, they've been sold this dream. Listen, go to college, drop five, maybe six figures on a college education. Then there'll be a job for you. Then you spend the next five, 10 years, 15, maybe more paying back the student debt. Then you're supposed to buy a house, right? So congratulations. You just bought a house with $200,000 that you're going to pay off over the next 15, 30 years. Congratulations. Hey, you know what you also need is a brand new shiny car. You deserve that car. Okay, then you pay that off for five, six, seven years. Now, that was the model I was sold. And I'll be very honest with you. I was sold that model and I bought that hook, line and sinker. Okay, I, I deserve a new house. And then that mortgage payment came in. And I'm thinking, wait, what? What is, what is wrong? What's, well, well, it didn't sit right with me. And I kind of looked around and thought, why is everybody else okay with this? And I'm not okay with this. Am I the weird one? Am I bad? What's wrong with me? Why am I not seeing this? So that need for money has always been there for folks. But I think in this most last four or five years, you're seeing in industries disrupted. You're seeing brand new industries pop up. You are seeing people selling stuff on Amazon, people flipping stuff on Amazon, fulfilled by Amazon. These FBA guys, they're everywhere doing an amazing job. It's fantastic. They're buying stuff at Walmart and flipping it. You're seeing Airbnb disrupting and really annoying the hotel industry. They're doing an amazing job. You're obviously seeing Uber and Lyft and maybe some other transportation companies. Amazing disruption that's taken place because people are looking for other avenues to make money because that, that model that we've been told, the nine to five, 40 years, 40 hours a week, 40 years for 40% of your income in retirement, people are seeing that that maybe isn't going to work quite as well as it would have done 10, 15, 20 years ago. So jumping down to the bottom there, again, data that won't surprise you, I don't believe, you know, only 9% of Americans earn $100,000 a year, credit card balance is greater than six grand, and according to Harvard, 40 million Americans live in housing they cannot afford. So all this slide tells me is that people need money, um, and we have a problem that is manifesting for many folks today, and for others, that problem is going to manifest more in the months and years ahead. This slide here just really highlights the, the impact of the take-home pay and what is needed from a take-home pay perspective in five different metro areas in the country, Los Angeles, Denver, Houston, Chicago, and New York. And really what this slide says is that even if you earn $100,000 a year, which for some is a big status threshold, I earn 100 grand a year, congratulations, right? Which is fantastic. You still, if you look at the numbers there to buy a home in Denver, to buy a home in Chicago, you're still looking at a significant amount of money to do that, which doesn't leave much else for other aspects of life. So I'm not gonna belabor this slide too much other than to say, if you earn $100,000 a year, that is absolutely fantastic. But in these metro areas and even some of those other areas that are not highlighted here, that doesn't actually leave you with too much afterwards. 
for transportation, health, vacations, shelter, food, you know, gymnastics, soccer, whatever it is, you know, nights out, whatever that is for you, it doesn't actually leave you that much. So again, this reinforces the point of the need for more revenue streams and a bit more money coming in to your bank account as opposed to going out of your bank account. So a question I'll pose to you guys for a second, if, if you could create your, your own system from scratch, brand new system, would you create the system that you're currently working under? So for example, if you were or are 1920 and you've got a professional career in front of you, would you choose the 40 hours a week model? Would you put, would you be fully invested in that and not do anything else? Or would you create something different? So it's a rhetorical question that I'm just going to leave out there for a few minutes and I will come back to it. So this slide right here just talks about redirecting some of your food budget. And essentially what Isogenics does, it provides quality, scientifically proven nutrition to fuel your body, all right? So what you can know is that, you're trust, that you can trust Isogenics, that the quality of nutrition is high. This isn't a, you know, your Walmart stuff, your, your Target stuff, or it's in a nice shiny box, or it's buy one, get one. It's not that, okay? This is quality food. So this slide here is talking about the actual food expenditure for an average family per customer per month. You can see there $660. If you run the math here down at the bottom, you can see you know, three meals a day, 30 days a month, 90. You can run the numbers here. So really what this slide is saying is that if you can redirect some of your spend away from Walmart, away from Harris Teeter, away from Target, away from Costco, away from your grocery food place of choice, redirect it away from that and towards Isogenics, what you can actually do here is actually start to build an asset in addition to fueling yourself and your family and your friends with quality nutrition. So. I'll jump back to this slide a bit later. So why partner with Isogenics? Well, in addition to just redirecting money that you're already spending, so for me, I was a big Costco person. The BJ's is a big kind of factory outlet, similar to Costco down in the, in the Southeast. What we have done is just redirected our spend away from BJ's over to Isogenics. So for example, we purchase our multivitamins, our shakes, our protein bars, our snacks. My wife does some of the makeup stuff that she loves. So what we have done, that money that we were already spending at BJ's, we have just moved it from there and we purchased it with Isogenic. That's all we have done. That is all we have done. And in the process, we are building up a nice asset that's sitting there for us, that is working for us and giving us some financial security and time as we continue to build that up. So that's what we've done is redirect. The slide here talks about 10 things that are why you should partner with Isogenics. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to highlight three. Number one, no overhead employees or inventory. If you were to try and start a new business tomorrow, you would need what? A physical business. You'd need a location. You'd need insurance. You'd need employees. You would need licenses. You would need inventory. Da, da, da. You get my point. You want to start an Isogenics business today? You can do that today. No overhead, no, no employees, no inventory. So that archaic model, which does still work for many businesses, that business, you know, the brick and mortar still works for many. It doesn't work for some, okay? That is a redundant feature of Isogenics because you don't need it, okay? Isogenics is a scalable business that is simply referral and word of mouth, and I'll jump into that more in a second. So I wanted to highlight that, that you do not need to buy it you know, an extensive amount of inventory and have a storage locker or a storage unit with stuff in. You don't need to do that. That is not something I would sign up for and you don't need to do it. Number two is time flexibility and leverage. I'm going to talk a bit about this one for a while because when I was working with GSK, I loved it. I absolutely loved it for about seven or eight years. And then I started to climb that ladder, right? The ladder where your title goes from sales manager to executive sales manager or platinum sales manager or some other fancy schmancy label that goes on there. And I'll be honest, I bought fully into that. I was like, that is great. I'll take that. You start to climb this ladder and you start to climb the ladder. And I got a couple of steps up on that ladder and I'm looking around thinking, well, well okay, so I got a 5%, 6% bump in my salary. That's great. But I also got more phone calls, more stress, more responsibility, more politics. Um, more decisions that I had to make and more landmines to navigate. And I'm actually getting further and further away from what I want to do, which is engage with people and help people. Um, I got further and further away from that. So that allowed that for where I got to with that is when I allowed myself to actually acknowledge and look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm going up this ladder here and I'm not too happy with that. It took, truthfully, it took courage for me 
and my wife to have a conversation and say, you know what, I'm going to need to hit pause here. I know I'm 42. I know we've got four kids, but this is, I'm not buying this anymore. This model, I don't, when I look forward five, 10, 15 years, I don't get excited at all. The reason I share that is what I want is actually not more money. I want more time. I want more time. That's what I want. I want the ability to wake up and spend my day how I want. And that doesn't mean I want to be a slob. I want to help people. I want to contribute. I want to do good. But if I want to go play golf for a day with my buddies, I want to do that. I want to be able to do that. If I go to my kids' practice, I want to physically and emotionally and mentally be fully present at that practice, not sitting in the car, finishing a phone call, not walking around the sidelines and missing a hit or missing a catch or missing a smile or missing a moment. I don't want to miss that stuff. I don't want to miss that stuff because I know that these kids are going to grow up. They're going to go out and they're going to do their thing in the world. And I don't want to sit there wishing I'd spend more time with them. I want to spend more time with them and have a, a business that I'm running or businesses that I'm running that are paying me when I'm not there. So that's the point I wanted to make on time flexibility. And then the last point, again, incredible nutrition and results. I do want to emphasize that because again, this is not a company that pushes junk. They don't do that. There are lots of companies out there that push good products. There's lots of companies that push junk. I'm not going to put a stake in the ground for junk. And my stake in the ground, Isogenics has been phenomenal. Since I first started taking the products in May, excuse me, March of 2018, I have ordered every single month after that. And my wife and four kids have been taking the products since May of 2018, every single month since then. So those are some reasons why you should consider partnering with Isogenics. Who are Isogenics? Family owned, operating currently in 26 markets globally. Um, they are trusted and respected. And um, again, established in 02 and 8 billion in total global sales since 2002. Excuse me, nearly 8 billion, which I'm sure is 8 billion by now. The one point I want to emphasize here is operating in 26 markets globally. I worked for a company where I was given a set territory. You know, let's say it was Western North Carolina. That was my territory. And everything that happened in there, I was responsible for and good for me, right? Anything that, anything that I generated in that territory, let's say I worked with a doctor and convinced him or her that the medicine I was pushing at that time was the right one. That doctor then moved to Baltimore, Maryland. I got no credit whatsoever for the work I did to talk to that doctor, create the relationship, discuss the science, deal with his or her objections, and then create that value for the doctor and for the patient and for the company, right? That doctor would prescribe that medicine, let's say for the next four or five years. I got no credit whatsoever. So the reason I emphasize this on this discussion is that operating in 26 markets globally, you wanna talk about an asset and a business model that scales, you're looking at it. Okay. You may live in Pennsylvania. Your market is not just Pennsylvania. You may live in Arizona. Your market is not just Arizona. Your market is this country and 25 other ones and likely to be several more as the footprint and the benefit and the reputation of this company continues to grow and grow and grow, which it is growing because of the people on this line and the people that invited you to join. So I wanted to emphasize that point as well, that the scalability here is frankly, it's almost like you can't possibly think big enough. Okay. When I first came in, I thought, well, I'll talk to my wife and a couple of friends. Mm -mm, that's not it. You need to be talking to people all over social media, in different countries across the world. Because can you imagine? Oh, let me stop. Give yourself permission to imagine what it would be like to have people in the, under your business model working with you and for you in England, in Australia, in Holland, in Italy, in Sweden, in those 25 other countries. Like, give yourself permission to think that way because truthfully, I don't think you can think big enough with this. I don't think you can think big enough. So I've obviously talked about resolutions. We all have them. The main one that I'm talking about today is the improved finances and the financial opportunity. So this leads to the question now, okay, so how do you do this? How do you start? Quite simply, you set up an account. That takes 10 minutes. It costs you zero money. I'm going to say that again. It costs you zero money. Step number two, um, you would pay a, excuse me, let me go back here. Step number one, set up your account, place your order, order your products. Okay, that's the first thing is to try the products yourself. I'm a believer that I'm not going to advocate for something if I have not had a good experience myself or tried it myself. So the first step, set, set up your account, order your product. Second step is to upgrade to associate. There is a $29 fee, which gives you basically that associate privileges, if you like, to advocate and sell isogenics and start to refer it and share it amongst your community. Uh, that's the second step. 
the next few slides here, I'd ask you that I try not get bogged down with the, the verbiage there. I've circled there, PIB, double PIB, RAB, da, 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 da. Basically what that means is the following. And I'll use Amazon as an example. Say Louisa told me, hey, Martin, you need to watch The Social Dilemma on, on Amazon. It's a great show. And I'll say, cool, I'll do that. Okay, Louisa got paid. I watch The Social Dilemma. And Louisa gets paid. Then I'm like, wow, this Amazon thing's great. Okay, I order every month from Amazon. Okay, Louisa gets paid every month now. That's basically what PIBs and double PIBs and RABs are. You get paid not just for the initial order, but every time the person orders after that, that residual ordering that they engage in, Louisa would get a small slice of that every single time I order. So I wanted to start there before I get into the model because some of the verbiage can get people tripped up. Don't worry about the verbiage. It's basically a referral based system that you get paid for the, you get credit for the first order. And then every subsequent order after that, that that person makes, you get paid or any referral they give, you get paid for that too. So I just really want you to watch the model here as it expands out. So you've got a left person, a person on the left and a person on the right that actually kind of looks like me. I just noticed that the dude with the beard there on the right. I just noticed that. Um, so there are ways that you can double your income if you recruit a couple of different people each week on, on each team. But watch this as it builds out. That person refers to, that person refers to, this person refers to. So when you look at this model right here, what you're seeing is this lady right here in the middle. You've got the guy with the beard here on the left and the lady on, on the right and the lady on the left. What they have done, they've ordered their isogenics and they just shared it with two people. They have just shared it with two people. And those people share it with two people. And those people share it with two people. That's the power of two. So basically, everything on this, under this left team bucket here, every single person that orders here, it flows back up towards this lady, the left team, and it flows back through you because you generated that. You had the courage to have the conversation with these people and say, listen, you should take a look at this. Or you had the courage to say, listen, from a business perspective, this is a way to build um, an income producing asset over time by redirecting your income away from Harris Teeter, Costco, whoever, and simply through isogenics. So basically the main point here is this model that builds out over time. And then you can see it goes again, right? So you can, if you think about this for a second, the amount of referrals that you guys have given over your lifetime, you've referred restaurants, sports teams, schools, gymnastics classes, you know, my wife was having a conversation last week with somebody about school. And uh, the, the other mom said, what teacher do I do you think my kids should have next year? What, what teacher should my kids want? Okay, and it's all referral. It's all this word of mouth, it actually goes on all the time. And I think it's for me, it's one of those things that I had to get out my own way and think, well, I don't want to refer a shake. Why would I do that? Okay, well, the truth is, why wouldn't you do it? Because when I say to somebody to go to Lake Norman Gymnastics, because it's a great place, Lake Norman Gymnastics generates income and a lifetime value for that customer that I've just pushed their way. Okay? When I tell my buddy to go watch Superman or whatever the new you know, Star Wars movie is, Star Wars generates income because of my referral. And the Star Wars people make a, a huge amount of money because of small conversations like that. So my point here is that we are all in this referral business. Some of us get paid and some of us do not. And I would invite you guys to give yourself permission to move a bit closer to where the profits are handed out. And because, you know, there's a billi billionaires in, in Arkansas with Walmart who I don't know that they need too much more money, but I know we can throw a bit more this way, right? So give yourself permission there. So this right here, this is one example of referral-based marketing. And I pulled this from Facebook on Sunday. A good friend of mine, and I've eliminated her name at the top. This is what she put up on Facebook on Sunday. Highly recommend Outdoorsy for RV rentals. We've used them twice and had great luck. If you like, it's like Airbnb for RVs. If you use this link, you get 50 bucks off and we get a $75 referral fee. Such a wide selection, blah, 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 right? You get it, okay? What's this? Referral marketing. She didn't think twice about putting this up. Okay, this is one, one example. And you'll start to notice if you peek into this a little bit, you'll start to notice other companies are trying to push out, they're trying to refer you, they're trying to lean on, press that status button for you. You know, I got one from the newspaper yesterday. Hey, all your neighbors are using our newspaper services for, we are the trusted news source, right? They're all using this network and this statusy little approach to try and get me to act. So my point in sharing this is that every single person on this line and every single person that you talk to tomorrow is in this business, okay? Every single one of them is in this business. And I would invite you guys to give yourself permission to be part of this business as well. There is nothing wrong with sharing. 
There is nothing wrong. And we have given that we are given the privilege to share quality products, to share the profits and to share those qualitative stories with people when they do their 30 or 60 day challenge or whatever that is. And they come back and say, thank you so much for introducing me. Okay. That's a privilege. So I would say to you guys, keep an eye out for this referral, this network marketing, because it occurs constantly. A couple more slides here and I'm done. So just some questions for you guys to consider as you go about your business and how you reflect on action to take or not take from this discussion today. Um, when was the last time you saw a before and after picture from a big box store? Okay. I love Harris Teeter. I think they're super friendly, but they don't do before and after pictures too much. And I'll leave it up to you to figure out why. Um, also, make sure you understand the economic power of a family unit. We heard earlier it was 600 or so dollars per, per person per month. To spend. If you lifetime, if you LTV that value out, if you look at that value over months, years, decades, it's a significant economic power that you guys have. And it's not to take lightly. Where you spend your money is important. The third point, I just talked about that. How often do you refer a product or a service? I would say you guys do that every single day. Um, if Jeff Bezos had come to you 20 years ago and said, hey, can you sell Amazon? I've got this little website thing. I'm going to sell books. It might turn into something and I'll give you X percent of the credit. Would you have done it or would you have said, nah, I'm busy, buddy. So I th that's, the, that's the situation that we are facing right now with this, with this company. I firmly, firmly believe that. The cost of entry really is your pride and your ego. We've been so programmed for the longest time. Wait, one of those things, one of these things, why are you doing that? For? Isn't that a scam? Oh, I feel sorry for you. You drinking the Kool-Aid? The truth is no. I'm not drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm drinking the hydrate because it's good stuff and you should drink it too. All right. So again, if you could create your own system from scratch, would it be the 40 hours for 40 years for 40% or it'd be more on your terms? So I would ask you guys to invite you, create your own system, right? There's a blank piece of paper and you have the power to create your own system. Last two questions. What vehicles are you currently using to build an asset and is it scalable? I touched on that earlier. The scalability here is phenomenal. And then the last question I've got, do you want to build an income producing asset while feeding yourself and your family with quality nutrition? Every question before this one on this slide is kind of open-ended. This one right here, it's a simple yes or a no. And if the answer is no, then thanks for listening. And I wish you the best. If the answer is yes, pick up the phone and talk to the person who referred you to this call and act. Don't wait, act. So I talked about the two objectives. One, provide you with an understanding of the business and two, invite you to reflect on your current behaviors and take action which is consistent with the best version of yourself. I hope I've accomplished those. I am really grateful for you guys jumping on here. Again, I wish it was more two-way, but the way that this is set up, it's not that way. But please reach out to the person who invited you to the call. I will also gladly answer any questions, but please reach out to them first. I wish you the very best and thank you so much for joining tonight's call. Take care.